How's it going, YouTube? So today, I gotta go over my car. I actually am supposed to be at work, but you know, I had to get insurance on my sister's car and have no gas. Which sucks, ASP. So here's the Maxima. It's dead. After five days of owning it, the car's dead. There's the key. My sister's car. This is the new car, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. There's the key to the doll hole. When the fuck's the keys? There's the key to the Sunday. No, oh, there's the key to that. Okay, so. Driving down the road yesterday, or the other day on Monday. It's uh, Wednesday right now. Driving down the road. And... The issue was the car, when I first bought it, the chance was acting up. Um, you know, it would... Uh, the chance would be hard to shift. It would grind into gears. Well, yesterday, or Monday... I went and bought the wheel bearing for this car. On the way back, I downshifted from 5th into 4th. Just fine. 4th and 3rd. And the RPMs went way up like it was a neutral. So I pulled it out of 3rd. Put it back into 3rd. Did the same thing. Out of 3rd. Into 4th. Did the same thing. Put it into 2nd. You know, slowed down a little, for, mo little more. Put it into 2nd. And it was just fine. Yesterday, I got in the car. And it won't move in first or second. It'll move in third and fourth very slowly. It tries to move in fifth, but now there's no reverse. This car's dead. I mean, I looked it up. I was going to see if I could find a chance for it. Five to ten percent of these Maximas, maybe, you know, up to fifteen percent. Of the Maximas ever made in this body, of the uh, fifth, was it fourth or fifth gen, only five to fifteen percent, five to ten percent, whatever of these cars were manual. So it's going to be super hard to find a manual. So I went and bought this one for five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks actually. Once the deal was done and everything, it was six hundred. It's a ninety-six Hyundai Elantra, also a five-speed. So this one I've actually got, and. It pisses me off. So I bought. These are, I spent forty bucks and bought a twelve inch or a ten inch, a single ten inch kicker sub. So I had the box and everything out for the twelve inch because I was taking the amp off the twelve inch to put on the ten inch. Forgot that the box was in front of the Maxima, and this is when it, in the first and second gear was still working, but third and fourth wasn't. It was first, second, fifth, and reverse that were working. Now, third, fourth, fifth is working, and that's it. But you know, you put it, you put it in the third, and it'll barely move because the RPMs aren't high enough. You know, it's too high of a gear to start out in. You can't really start out in second. Um, so when you're trying to start out in third, it's even worse. Um, but yeah, I forgot the the sub box was in front of it. And, Start moving forward, and all I hear is a kaboom! And I get out, and the sub box is laying on the floor. Or laying. Actually, it's over there by the tires. You can barely see right here. Destroyed. The bumper's. Destroyed. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. So I've got all of the speakers out of it. I pulled the stereo out of it. I mean. Oh, it's stuck in gear now. Oh, maybe not. And that's another thing. It's not just third, fourth, and fifth that work. I drop the car into neutral, and it'll move forward. I, I put it in neutral, release the clutch, and it starts moving forward. But first and second will work. So it's like I have two neutrals. And then the, the actual neutral neutral is its own gear now. I don't I don't understand. So I took all the headlights, the tail lights out. The LED tail lights are out. Um, speakers are out. 
I'm just waiting because I since I licensed it on Thursday and today is Wednesday. Hopefully, I get the title so I can go take it. Um, maybe get some money out of it so I can register this. This one's uh, the 1.8 liter, and both of them are straight piped now. Chopped the muffler off this, and it sounds amazing. Last night, I chopped the muffler off of this, and it actually doesn't sound any different from what it did when it had the muffler. I mean, it's a little, you know, a little louder, but not bad. And actually, the mufflers are sitting over there, because I was just going to put the, the muffler that was on here, the aftermarket muffler on here. And then I chopped it off and put it on and it didn't make much difference. So it's like, I might just be putting a glass back on this one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's not a bad card. Manual door locks, manual windows. And I think I've locked it. Now i got to find the key because i got so many fucking keys in my pocket. I'll just pull it all out at once. Nope. Still didn't get it. That was a lot. Oh, there it is. Like I said, that was the last key in my pocket, so I've lost it. Man, your door locked. The only thing this one needs is a door handle here. Ow, son of a bitch. I forgot. And a door handle there, which I can unlock it and stuff, but it's just going to take too long. Um, yeah, actually, I, sh I need to because I can show you. A little bit more on this car. So this rear seat's actually really clean now. It used to be disgusting. It used to have dirt. And if you look out front, that, it was worse than that in the back. I got the car home, and it's only got 123,000 miles on it. But I got it home the other day, and my sister's like, hey, I'm cleaning that car out for you. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> she comes out with it. Shop back and start vacuuming it out. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. I've been told synchros could be bad. I've been told the transmission is bad. I've been told the clutch is bad, which the clutch isn't bad because it goes in the gear. Um, that there'd be sometimes when I'm driving down the road in it. You know, and I'd be driving, and I'd it, it'd be in gear, and I'd go out of gear, and then it seemed like the gear was blocked, and I, you know, I couldn't get it to move. The, the gear shifter would only move in neutral, but it seemed like there was a big wall in front of all the gears, and it wouldn't go into gear. The clutch, I think, is fine, because, you know, the clutch works. Uh, it would grind and it wouldn't it didn't grind at first, you know, it was like I got it It was fine coming home Got the starter on it got it registered drove it for a day or two and then it started grinding going into first and then I realized I was go you know, whatever I think You know, it was just start grinding a little bit, but then every time I'd shift into third It would grind and I don't know what caused that, but it was hard to shift when I first got the car, but I didn't think anything about it. You know, I thought it was normal for what this car was, but when I drove this home and how smooth this thing shifts, like I barely, I can barely grab the shifter and it'll shift. I have to, I had to grab the shifter and yank hard to shift this one every time I'd shift because it was just not... You know, and at first I thought it was the clutch. The clutch wasn't releasing. But the but now I think about it, it was releasing because it would, you know, it would go out of gear. Oh, fuck me. I just locked it, didn't I? Wait, why isn't that door not locked? I'm locking it. God damn, what the hell's going on with this door? There. Yeah. It did that the other day, too. Yeah. The door panels are all right there. Like I said, the, the speakers are out. Actually, you know what? This one was actually wired in for a sub. But I took the stereo out because they had a factory. They chopped the factory wiring harness out. So I'm going to go to a junkyard and get a wiring harness for it. 
the stock wiring harness, put it back in, and then get one from Walmart that goes to the back of my stereo that I can hook in. But there's the sub. There's my amp. There's the speakers out of that car. I found these JVCs for 30 bucks. I found these I had a while ago. So I might just put some JVCs in this. Might sound pretty good with uh, JV. Actually, you know what though? Does this have? Because it's weird because that car doesn't have the speakers up here. Oh, it does. Yeah, that other car, the Maxima doesn't have the speakers in the rear window like that. So, but I'll just put the JVCs in there. How many speakers does this thing have though? Does it have? Okay, so it doesn't have them in the doors. But it has them in the front. So there's a total of four speakers, and that's what I've got. Cool, I might just put the JVCs in here and then hook in that sub. Put the Kenwood out of the Maxima in here. Have a good stereo system in it. You know, and it's, it's going to be amazing because my buddy, or the guy, well, he's not really a buddy. Uh, when I bought those two 12s for the Tahoe and then I decided to sell them, well, I sold them to this guy and then I seen him yesterday or the other day at... Uh, AutoZone, I was like, yeah, my buddy blew my single 12, and, you know, how's those dual 12, uh, those two 12s doing? He's like, oh, they're good. He's like, I have a single 10-inch brand new sub that I use for a weekend or so. You know, it's not very, it's not very, uh, it hasn't been used very much. And he's like, uh, you can have for 40 bucks, so he went and picked it up. But, um, you know, he was saying that it kicked in his little Ford Explorer really good so in a car this size with a trunk that small this bitch is gonna be a thumping car dude it's gonna be amazing yeah i was gonna put it in this one so i took all the sub wires out of this car I took all the sub wires out of this car we're gonna re i'm gonna rewire everything not me i'm gonna have a friend do it because i can't do it you know i'm gonna well i'll have him help me not have him do it so i can learn so i can do it myself next time but yeah guys that's it I'm going to take the cold air take off of here and stuff, but, uh, you know, this car's not going to be around much longer. I would fix it and stuff, but, you know, I don't have the time and money, so have a good one.